When I first asked him about a potential ski adventure, after 15 years of not skiing, much less losing his leg, some of the other leg, I mean, it's pretty remarkable. You know, when David asked me about this, I was like, you know, I don't know, man, I, it's kind of not my scene. I don't want to push it, and you know, if something happened to this left leg, I might lose the left leg. And it took me a while to get used to uh, getting comfortable being uncomfortable. He's been the perfect, perfect person to try to be our first to go and do this, and he's executed big time. Jacob Schick, go by Jake, third generation Marine, served uh, in the Marine Corps for six years. My unit got deployed to Iraq in 2004 and uh, had a rough day at work, September 20th of 2004. Hit a triple stack tank mine, it was pressure plate ignited, and we were in a two-door soft top Humvee, blew up directly beneath me, threw me 30 feet to the top of the Humvee. Lost my right leg below the knee. Had multiple compound fractures in my left leg. Broke every one of my ribs. Bone loss, skin loss, ligament loss. And then my left arm, five inches of my ulna was blown out. But uh, great Marines around me, great training, and was able to keep breathing because bad breath's better than no breath. My name is David Babora, retired NFL linebacker. I started the Adaptive Training Foundation, and it's to restore hope through movement. And I met high fives. I met Roy, I love them, love what their mission was. So we partnered on um, this ski adventure, we got disabled sports here at Squaw uh, in the mix, and they took Jake through some lessons. Allie was an amazing teacher. You know, we got here and it was cool. I mean, we got to go meet up with Roy and the crew and um, started out on the carpet. And I told Allie, I was like, man, Allie, I gotta tell you, if this was 10 or 15 years ago, I don't know if I would be as patient with all the different like flex, extends, pull, flex, he's like all these. And then we're just gonna go down sideways, pull those toes up, and we're just gonna slide down sideways. And then we're gonna switch and slide down sideways the other way. And I'm like, Allie, let's go. Like, let's, let's, let's expand our horizons. But she got it, and I felt like, I felt pretty confident in my skills. Uh, no real falls, I think you laid down once. We were actually bummed that there wasn't more falls. I was bummed that there was not more falls. Sally was an amazing teacher. I uh, really kept him comfortable, and I think that was a big part, you know. We wanted to push him and probably get him into hot water before he was ready. Roy told David, he was like, hey, don't tell him, but we've never done this with an athlete on the first day, ever. Jake's never gonna back down from a challenge, and no one really told him what he was doing. It was skied all the way down the first day. Which was awesome when we got to the bottom, we are like, man, you just, on day one, did something that very few do, period. Dude, no one does that on their first day. Really? What you just did. I wasn't gonna tell you that. I wasn't gonna tell you that until we got down here. So, you know, like, I wear that as a, you know, a badge of pride, because I'm like the first high fives athlete to say, yeah, I skied down the whole mountain on my first day. Which is pretty cool, man, because listen, you only grow outside your comfort zone. You know, because physical limitations are just that. They're physical limitations. They're not mental limitations. I mean, how far are you willing to let your physical limitations get ahead of your mentality? It's all about trusting yourself and your ability. I mean, you just surround yourself with soul feeders and you can do anything. So that's why I skied down the mountain the first day. And because Allie is, you know, pretty, pretty gnarly and needs a pay raise. People with high fives and squaw and you know, it's magnetic and it just draws you in. I mean, you just can't help but want to be, you know, want to be around them. It's good to say that I've got, now I've got some family in Tahoe. Yeah, I mean, I love that, man. There's, there's a lot of places I go where I'm like, I don't care if I never come back here. And this is a place where it's like, damn it. Like, how long am I going to have to wait? I'm already impatient having you left yet.